Ladies and gentlemen, could this be the answer to our questions, our pleads, our begs, and our cries? What might be an all new Toyota Super titled as the FT1 concept? I think so, ladies and gentlemen. I think so. Well, looky here! It's been about 10 years since the Super went out of production, but now it seems as if Toyota is making exciting cars for us, the petroholic drivers, and the average public, if they want to drive the car. The 86 was a great standpoint, but now the FT1 concept is now stepping in and really making things pop, just like the 86 did, but maybe, if not, a bit bigger. So yeah, what's in this car actually? Well, I don't know too much, but I can tell you guys what I do know and what I've seen. Like as we can see here on the exterior are some design cues from the Toyota 2000 GT like the wraparound windshield look, far back interior, long bonnet and short rear. There's also a nice touch with the retractable spoiler. And for a concept, it does look great, but what I would like to see from an exterior standpoint is the front fashion not having a twin vent look, but rather a single vent look, and the headlights along with the taillights having more of a Mark IV Super look to it. I think those would be nice touches to add, and wouldn't be too much just to change around. And plus for those who haven't really noticed, it kind of looks like the C7 Stingray. Yep. Don't get me wrong though, I love the look of the concept, it's just the thing is aren't a few changes to be made upon the final production of this. The interior from a small glance looks reminiscent of the Mark IV Supra but upon closer look we've lost another vehicle to the flappy paddle dark sand. There's an F1 type steering wheel with shift lights and gear number indicators and the system startup even looks grim and lets you know that you're in for a real ride. We've got the usual bucket seats and it looks like it's going to be a 2 seat sports car as opposed to the 4 seat Supra Mark IV but I don't mind that, overall the interior it looks great. And I'm referring so much to the Mark IV Supra because that's the most likely car we can compare the F186 to and it may be the one that it precedes. From a drivetrain and engine standpoint, the car is a rear puller but the engine is what I really want to know about. It looks as if it may be a V6 but from playing Gran Turismo 6 now, it could most likely be a twin turbocharged V6 or it could be a V8, I'm not too sure, we need to go and see. I mean, what if it could even be codenamed as the JZ engine, you know, just to remind people of the 2JZ engine? I don't know, but we'll have to see. Lastly, Toyota claims that the FT1 was designed as part of its aim of creating cars that connect more deeply with customers on an emotional level and generate a more satisfying ownership experience. With that being said, can we have an exciting crawler as well, you know, one with maybe the 86's engine perhaps to poke fun at the Evo and STI, maybe? That much? Anywho, could this be the car that could be the GTR's partner in the battle against the supercars like the McLaren and Lamborghini? Could it be as brutal as this? Could it be the brand new almighty Supra? All will be answered soon. But for now, let's go play some Gran Turismo 6. Since the car is there, and it's available, and it doesn't really cost that much.